Hi, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. Today on Rants and Raves, on Thai women. When people write me or message me, it's usually one of three different matters. The first is, how should they go about living in Thailand? Uh, in other words, the mechanics of living in Thailand. Um, how much money is enough? What sort of visa should they get? How often? Do they have to leave the country? What's it really like living here? Uh, is English Premier League available on cable TV, etc.? The second thing is, how can they earn enough to make a living? What can they do so that they can live in Thailand? Can they work as an electrician? Can they work as a chef? Is it easy to start an export business? How can they earn enough money to make their dream of living in Thailand or some other country a reality. The third thing is by far the most important. According to YouTube, approximately 92% of my viewers are male. I kind of wish that that was a little bit different. There were some more women watching, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, the most popular subject that people write me about is women, Thai women. Everybody wants to know about Thai women. Um, and let's face facts, if you're a man, especially a young man, you probably don't know shit about women. You may think you do, but chances are you don't know jack shit. Wait until you get married, you'll learn a lot about women, but you still won't know anything. <laughs> um, and if they're Thai women, you probably know even less. Um, they are a mystery an enigma of epic proportions and if they weren't I doubt that so many people would be writing me every day I get messages from somebody talking about this woman did that this woman did this what should I do I don't understand I get all kinds of messages you, you, you can't imagine <laughs> some of the some of the emails that I've received um, so anyway you know here's the thing I may not know much about Thai women. I, I don't profess to. But eventually, over the years, as you get older, you learn a little bit. Whether by osmosis or however you learn. Unless you're a complete moron. Uh, and I, one thing that I learned is to use common sense. Okay, uh, Trust in my instincts. And fall back on your experience. If you have experience in situations, fall back on that experience. Um, uh, occasionally, I get someone writing in who says, you know, what makes you the expert? And first of all, I never profess to be an expert. I've just lived here for, you know, almost 18 years. And I've picked up a trick or two. Dr. Ruth might be an expert in sex. I'm just some guy who moved to Thailand and I ended up staying for a while okay and I've learned a thing or two now when single men come to Thailand one of three things usually happens the first is they completely avoid prostitutes they stay single or they hook up with a Thai woman or Thai women but they just avoid prostitutes okay they just don't believe in it or they just don't go or they just don't need them or whatever the second is They'll hang out in the nightlife areas occasionally or even regularly. Um, and if they do, by chance, get involved with a working girl, it's usually only once. There's usually some kind of a bad breakup or they figure out that, hey, you know, this girl, she only wants money from me or uh, her and I are just too different. There's no way on earth that it's going to work. They smarten up and they learn the golden rule, which is do not get emotionally involved with a prostitute. It just is beneficial to follow that rule. The odds are that if you follow that rule, you will get yourself into less predicaments than if you don't follow the rule. The third is that men throw caution to the wind and they fall madly in love with a working girl. At best, they end up brokenhearted. At worst, they end up ruined financially and emotionally. Uh, and some men 
they just fall in love over and over and over again with working girls and their relationships never work they're always dysfunctional and um, they just continue to go on and on and that's just the life they live so to each his own but so what's the point of this rant well the point is use your common sense bar girls and prostitutes they you know some of them may be outstanding stellar human beings uh, I'm not here to debate their character though and remember that they're in the business of making men feel good physically and emotionally in exchange for payment it's as simple as that um, you know some may want a boyfriend or a husband but most they they want to get paid so you know getting involved in a relationship you know it always means putting yourself out there but getting in a relationship with a person in a different culture that makes things more difficult you know you need to learn how they how they think and and how their what their culture expects and so what do they expect uh, but if your love interest also happens to be a prostitute um, the chances of success are extremely slim and we see it not only on my YouTube channel but you read it on the internet you see it everywhere you see signs of it the chances of a relationship working with some girl that's working in a bar who probably doesn't have a great education well maybe you're a businessman in, <laughs> in Hamburg or or uh, you know in Des Moines Iowa or something like that uh, and you know you've got a great job and a great life and things are going good except you just don't have the woman you want well like I said the chances of your relationship working with that person is very slim so remember something you can only lose what you're willing to give you're the only person who can open up your wallet and open up your life use common sense you go to prostitutes for what they're meant for sex you aren't captain save a whore you aren't richard gear she's not julia uh, roberts and you know this is not pretty women and you know one thing that people forget is this is real life man you know for some of these girls their ability to to extract money from men whether it's on a straight basis where they just say listen you you, you know i'll have sex with you for uh you know two thousand baht or whatever it is their ability to extract money from men and to earn is extremely important to them and to their family and to the well-being of themselves and their family okay so you know it's not something that that most of them take lightly if you ever talk to them about money most of them are very very serious about it um, you know it's it is important to them it's the top priority and I never really knew this until I came to Thailand I didn't to me I thought you know hey money's important but you know hey no big deal that's because I was never starving you know if I had a problem I could always call up a friend and go hey you know give me a hundred bucks or you know I could call my family up or something like that and say right, can I have some money I you know I lost my job and you know I got no money for food I, I never have been in that position so I'm fortunate um, anyway it's as simple as that don't be a dumbass you know think with your brain not with your pecker and probably if if more people do that then less people will be writing me telling me about how they fell in love with this girl and what do I think about her and listen if she works in a bar it's not that I think poorly of the girl at all that's not it you know hey who's to say if if I was a woman in the same position I wouldn't do the same thing that's not the point the point is go find a girl somewhere else go to that girl have sex have a good time and split that's it end of story end of relationship you want to have a relationship go see her once a week but don't get emotionally involved and give her the house and give her the keys to your you know your Mercedes and you know what is it they say you can take 
the girl out of the bar, but you can't take the bar out of the girl. And unfortunately, that's true in almost all cases. So until next time, Chokbi Lat Jokanmai. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok. So long.